All right, uh, let's move on to this next news story here. Uh, this comes to us from Games Radar, written by Hyrun Cryer. PS5 game streaming is in the works exclusively for PS Plus subscribers. PS5 cloud-based game streaming is undergoing testing at Sony and will eventually be available for PS Plus subscribers. Sony's head of subscriptions, Nick McGuire, was recently interviewed by GamesIndustry.biz, where he revealed the, fe uh, the feature is in development. PS5 games are being played over the cloud. Uh, could very soon be a possibility, but don't assume every PS5 game will automatically be available to play on the go. Right now, at least, Sony says both PlayStation Plus game catalog catalog titles and games that have trials on PS Plus will be available to play via the cloud. Additionally, some supported, quote unquote, supported digital PS5 games will be compatible with the new cloud feature, but McGuire didn't specify uh, which games these are. I don't have I any more to share. Yeah, I don't have any more to share about it today because we're in the testing phase and we'll provide more updates once it's ready, McGuire said of the forthcoming feature, adding only that Sony is very excited about it. From the sound of things, it seems as though testing for PS5 cloud streaming is going pretty well internally at Sony. That could be a pretty good indication that the feature might be launching relatively sooner rather than later. But we'll have to stay tuned for further information. Um, so, yeah, this is something that I, I mean, they've had streaming for a while. That PS Now was a thing. Um, and once mm -hmm. PS Now was dissolved, uh, well, it kind of not really dissolved. Once PS Now was kind of like smushed into the PS Plus subscription, um like streaming is still a thing it's been a thing cloud streaming has been available but up till now it's only been available for s select ps4 ps3 and ps2 titles um you could never stream a ps5 title so that's kind of that's the new thing that is what the boiled down tldr ps5 streaming is now coming uh apparently um and uh i i'm all about it uh a lot of people had issues with ps now for whatever reason like i i don't know i had a lot of friends who tried it out and you always see stuff online too people like ah it was laggy it was this and that the other thing i love ps now like i back in the day i paid for both a playstation plus and a ps now subscription because i thought it was great like it was fantastic and it it was cheap it's obviously gone up in price now that they've mixed it with playstation plus but um it was like a halfway decent deal it's like 60 bucks for a year it's like okay that's the price of one game and i have access to at that point, they had a larger library than Game Pass. It was like 800 plus games or something. And a large, that's, it was the only way to play PS3 games. Like I could play Metal Gear Solid 4 on there. You know? Still is. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Still is the only way to play most PS3 games. So um, I, I'm excited about this feature. Uh, I'm curious. So b before the show, you brought up a point and you said, this seems extremely reactionary, to which I agreed because xbox has gone hard in the cloud streaming and are even developing it further where they're talking about bringing it to tvs and you know streaming sticks and all sorts of stuff but uh -huh. what hit me is like well this seems reactionary but what i forgot and i just popped in my head now well it was like about two or three years ago it was two years ago it was probably about two years ago where we got that news um about playstation joining up with Microsoft with uh, the the Azure servers, remember? Yeah, I was gonna so, say they're using their servers. So this has been in the process for a while, um, which so not to say it isn't reactionary because Game Pass was also a thing then. And at that point, cloud streaming was still in beta for Xbox. Right. Where now, where now it's out officially, like 100%. So it, it, not to say it's not reactionary, but it, it did hit me. I'm like, oh, you know what though? Like they technically are, I don't know if they are currently, but they are at least at one point moving forward with use it basically using the same servers that xbox cloud stream cloud gaming is using which is wild to me they're like hey we know like teaming up with the enemy to use their technology try to use their technology against them it's kind of kind of as long as they but. keep cutting them checks go ahead <laughs> yeah my, pay us like, to yeah you can you're paying us for people to play your games dummy okay yeah, yeah. give it <laughs> exactly um but yeah i have you um do you have a current PlayStation Plus subscription? And if you do, what uh, level do you have? I do. I have the premium. I got it because it was 25% off um, oh, during Christmas yeah. time. Is that the top one? I always forget. If that's, yeah. Or is that the middle one? There's, okay, there's that's the top one. regular PlayStation Plus, and then there's... Um, there's uh, like, what's the, uh, what's the, the one in the middle? So the regular Premier, one... I think. Yeah, so the, bo the bottom level is Essentials, and then the middle one is called... 
What's the middle Premier, one called? I yeah, think. Premier, something like that. And then and I think Premium. Platinum is the Premium. Yeah. Yeah, I, I forget. I don't. Yeah, it has a funny name. They have a weird naming scale. Instead of just calling but, it like. Yeah, yeah, that's the one that the that uh, people would need to have to take advantage of this to to use streaming, correct? Right. And I don't know a whole lot of people who are going to do that. Um. And I guess that's why they they felt like they can launch this with people only using uh, the premium PlayStation Plus because it's it's such a small install base. It wouldn't be that much traffic on the server. Yeah, that's true. As far It'd be as a good good test bed, and then right. once it's running smoothly, then they can be like, "Hey, we're going to start offering it's for it, everybody. A, a limited library, maybe to the the next tier down or something like that." Right. I would hate for them to limit it like that, but that's what they're doing at this point. Like if, at this point, if you want to play PlayStation one, two and three games, you have to have the premium tier. If you have anything below that, you can't. So they already are kind of heavily paywalling things over there. So it's not yep. wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised by it. But yeah, uh, I was saying I just think it's weird that a it took this long. And I mean, I know why they're pushing it now, right? Because that stupid thing is getting ready to come out. Uh, yeah, the project uh, Q. Yeah. The stupid little handheld thing. And they want to make sure that it's not a complete, even though it's going to be, they want to make sure it's not a complete bust that people it's, can, that people buy this thing and realize that they can't play PS5 games with it. It's going to be a complete bust. That's so ridiculous. It's so stupid. Like, why? What's the point? Like, it's literally, it's a phone that only plays PlayStation, that only streams PlayStation 5 or play, streams games from your PlayStation 5. It's so stupid. It's a, phone, buy... it's, it's a phone it's a phone that doesn't actually do phone things right and can only it only has one purpose like it's so dumb like why why would you know what somebody that? said uh which is very interesting and it's probably true uh you remember that logitech thing they're they're gaming handheld um it's like the no. logitech cloud or something like that oh yeah it's it's like a steam deck thing but it just does streaming yeah, so there's no like you can't actually play a game on it. It's just streaming. You right. know that thing is three hundred dollars. So guess how much this this wild. this PlayStation thing is gonna be? Because it's essentially the same thing. <sighs> yeah. It's most likely gonna be in that market. Why would I tell anybody to buy that when a backbone is a hundred dollars? Right. Holy smokes, that's crazy. Three hundred bucks for a. St- Freaking for a streaming only handheld, three hundred dollars. Wow. Which means when, that the PlayStation when you thing can is gonna, ar- you can already do it from your phone. Like that's yeah. what's wild. It's gonna be at <laughs> least two hundred bucks. It's a free app. It's a free app you download. You just download it and you can stream from your PS5 or PS4. I used to use it for my PS4 all the time. Yeah, like you don't even need a PS5. You can just, I mean, if you want to play PS5 games, you need a PS5, but. You can stream and you can stream from anywhere in the world as long as your PlayStation is connected to the Internet. And as an auto on feature, I can log into the Internet over in freaking Frankfurt, Germany, if I wanted to and play my PS5 over the interwebs. Right. Crazy. So I would say as long as your phone is like not complete garbage, like if you have a phone that came out within the last three years, get a backbone. I mean, even even further, because because it's not actually it doesn't need any computing power. It's just a screen. So like, you need a good antenna, though. You need a good Wi-Fi antenna for your phone. I feel yeah, like. I guess. But I mean, why? why they've had pretty much had the same Wi-Fi band. Like it's been wireless. Uh, what is it? I, I don't even remember the the AC. I think it is AC. Now. Like they've had those antennas for like the last like ten years now. So I mean, anything within the last like seven or eight years, easily right. like you could you could just pull, download this free app onto your iPhone or Android and stream games, buy a backbone, or again, iPhones. I. I'm sure Androids have, I don't know because I don't have experience with them, but iPhones have the update where you can use a PlayStation 5 controller through Bluetooth just on your controller or on yeah, your phone. Yeah, PS5 so, controller, Xbox controller, either one. It's like, I think you what? can use a Switch Pro controller too if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, because I've used that on the go. So, yeah. Yeah, so, I don't... yeah. Yeah, get a backbone or just pair your controller, dude. Dude, they, they, they're going to try to charge an arm and a leg for this thing because they know they're not going to sell a whole lot. So they want to get as close to like breaking even as they can. Who, on this. who was it? Someone was compared it to the a, a Wii U gamepad. Was it Eddie? So, I, I or think someone. so. Somebody was like, why? Oh, yeah. Yes. It's Sony, basically a, it's basically a, a great Wii U idea gamepad. copying the Wii U. <laughs> it's 100% what it is, though. It's literally a Wii U gamepad 
for your PS5. Like, oh my you, God. it's so stupid. This is why I need to be Kirby and, and take over Jim Ryan for okay and stupid stuff like this. <laughs> so you can shut it down. No, yes. stop. No, never. Vita 2. <laughs> take all these components, take these DualShock halves, put them back together and put them in boxes. What are you yeah. doing? <laughs> oh, man. Absolutely wild. Thank you so much for watching that clip from our podcast. Remember, if you want to watch the whole episode, the full episode, link will be in the description below. You can click on that and uh, check it out. We got listener questions. We got more news segments. We got uh, what you're playing. We got a lot of fun things. So yeah, more than just the news. There's a little more, a lot more to the show that you should go check out. So remember, click that link in the description. Check out that full episode.